In the previous video, we have seen how a Zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator. But there, we have seen it without the load resistor. But in reality, we always have load connected to it. So here we are seeing the circuit with the load resistor. But in reality, there can be changes in the source voltage itself, which is the output of the filter. And even the load resistor can change. Now, there are variations coming from the input side as well as the output side. Now, the expectation out of a regulator is to maintain the output voltage constant irrespective of these two variations. So, as we have two variables to consider, instead we will choose to consider one of it varying at one given time and the other one is constant. So, we look at two scenarios. As mentioned, as we have two variations that are coming in, that is input line variation and the load variation. I have shown here two cases where we are dealing with each individual variation separately. The first one is regulating the line variations. So hence, we will call this line regulation. And the second one, we have the load regulation. So in this video, we will target load regulation. And in the next video, we will see line regulation. When we say line regulation, Vs is changing, but the load current or load resistance is fixed. Whereas when we come to load regulation, we assume Vs is fixed, but the load current or load resistor is changing. In this video, we are going to concentrate only on load regulation, in which the input voltage Vs is fixed, but the load resistor is variable. It changes between value R L min to RL max. But when we have a Zener diode, our intention is to make sure the Zener diode current, which is indicated here, IZ, is always in between I ni or IZ min and IZ max based on the power rating. As far as we maintain IZ to be within this limit, we can say the voltage across the Zener diode would be VZ, which is a known quantity. Now, in this case, as we know what is the voltage source value Vs and Zener diode is in breakdown region operated, in which case we can assume it's like a voltage source. Now, based on this assumption, let me redraw the circuit. Assuming the Zener diode will be operated in this region, its equivalent circuit is a voltage source, which is shown here. Now, the current that flows through the series resistance is Is. And obviously, the current that flows through the Zener diode is Iz, and current that flows through load resistor, let's take it as Il. Is will be equal to Vs minus Vz over Rs. So, which means, as we know, that Zener diode voltage is fixed, which is Vz, and Vs is also fixed, and if Rs is chosen, to be a value, obviously it will be fixed, then Is is going to be a fixed quantity. Is is equal to Iz plus Il. But in this case, if you see, Is is a fixed quantity as we just saw, but as Il is given by Vz over Rl, where Rl is changing, which means Il will also be changing. When IL is changing, if we take it backwards, when IL is changing, we know that IS is a fixed quantity as we have discussed here, which means IZ will be changing. So let me write that expression here that IS is a fixed quantity. When IZ is higher value, IZ max, then IL will be minimum value. Because IS is a fixed quantity, when RL is at higher value, then IL will be at lower value. When IL is minimum, IZ should be maximum. Now at the other end, when IZ is minimum and IL is maximum. IL will be maximum when RL is minimum. So let me write this quantity. This should be equal to VZ over RL max and this quantity will be Vz over Rl min. So we can write that Rl increases, let's say, which will result in Il decreasing, 
because I L decreases, I Z will increase, but overall I S will be a fixed value. All this is based on the assumption that we are maintaining the current flowing through the Zener diode is in between I Z min and I Z max, so that it is in the breakdown region of operation. Due to which the voltage across the Zener diode is always V Z, irrespective of the load variation. Which means even though the load is changing, the output voltage is still V Z. So let me represent that here. The voltage across the load resistor is going to be V Z throughout the operation. In the next video as continuation, we'll talk about the line regulation. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and thank you for watching.